Currently, the Electricity Act and Gas Act allow EMA to recover the costs of regulating electricity and gas licenses and operating Singapore's power system. To prepare for the energy transition, EMA will need to undertake new initiatives for energy security, for market development and decarbonisation. For instance, the Standby LNG Facility, or SLF, boasted our energy security during the energy crisis by providing generation companies with the assurance of continued supplies of gas. This reduced volatility in the wholesale electricity market and it gave retailers the assurance to offer electricity contracts to more consumers. However, EMA is unable to legally recover the operating costs of such a critical facility, despite the security, the benefits it is conferred to all electricity users. So therefore, Clause 6.2 of the bill amends the EMA Act to allow EMA to recover costs associated with energy security, market development and decarbonisation related initiatives while ensuring the proper functioning of our energy system. EMA will only recover the costs for such initiatives and will not seek to make any profit. Furthermore, EMA will seek to be targeted in implementing cost recovery for these initiatives in line with the user pays principle. Members of the House, this principle is not new. Consumers currently pay for the energy-related services they use, such as the billing and meter reading services provided by SP services. Households and businesses are understandably concerned about whether this proposal will increase electricity prices. I would like to assure consumers that EMA will only introduce new initiatives when necessary. EMA will first consult and will provide reasonable notice to affected consumers before introducing new rates.